Okay, now we go come to the K nearest neighbor algorithm, which is actually one of the easier ones to understand. And but it's a very powerful algorithm, partly because of its simplicity and naturalness. And um, it's determined by a parameter K. All right. And um, it's sort of in between clustering and classification, uh, and like an SVM. Uh, SVM got, tr tries to find classifications by drawing lines between um, regions. Kate nearest neighbor just does classification in a more dynamic fashion, takes a new point and finds the old points that are nearest it. Probably Kate nearest neighbor has got more computing in the inference stage. I mean, there's no training stage in Kate nearest neighbor. Like in deep learning, all the time is in training, and the inference is very quick. In Kate nearest neighbor, all the time is an inference. And there is no training time. All right. So it's unsupervised, it's very non it's no parameters whatsoever. And you just take a, you take a point, you have to have a distance to find, and you find the K closest neighbors. And then you use some measure, either count the number of neighbors of those K which are which are, have some classification, like yes, say, or, or no, and choose the classification which the majority of neighbors have. And they say it's a clustering problem in some sense, because you're finding those points which are nearest. But it doesn't, unlike, say, real clustering, it doesn't require these points to be isolated from other points. It just says these are the nearest points. Um, and if their points are very dense and they're not really particularly near compared to other points, you'll just probably get slightly unreliable answers. And maybe you want to take K bigger so that you um, average over other nearby points. I mean, um, so here is an example of K equals four. We have this new light green point. And then we look at the old points, which are either green or red. And we see three reds and one green nearest this point. So we will classify this point as red. Notice this would not do very well with SVM, because we have green points this side and green points that side. Actually, they would be separated like that. So that's a real mess for SVM. There's no way a single line can do that. Deep learning, however, could, of course. Um, OK, so that's a typical example. and. Um, Here's the mathematics of the algorithm. We have k points, and you find the k that are nearest to our new point. This is the inference step. And then you look at the most frequent class, or the average class, if you're calculating a number among those points. And you have to guess k. k can be three, a million, a thousand, what have you. And we can use weighting if we want, weighting on how near the points are. And we need to use some metric, which is again basically our original discussion of distances and funny spaces. We just need, we don't actually need a metric, we need a distance, because we're just looking at the nearest points. So that's, uh, I, I actually clearly only needs distance. And it's, um, I don't think it makes any difference if it's in a vector space or non vector space. The distances are all you need. You use these uh, very heavily in recommender systems. And um, you just find similar items, similar users, similar um, objects. And um, by searching for the neighbors using a particular distance function, which is either calculated from properties or users or what have you. And you can also do this with documents. You can find, if you're doing on gathering together new related news items, you could. Um, Use Kate nearest neighbor to find the news the K nearest news items to any new one particular news item. Of course, K is not going to be the same. For hot news will have many more neighbors than rather local news. Um, like um, flooding in Bloomington would not have as many K as I don't know typhoon in Indonesia or something like that. OK, so we can control the computation by choosing K. There are absolutely no parameters whatsoever. We don't have to think of a model. We don't have to think about parameters. 
And we, of course, need a reliable distance, but all methods need that. So that's not really a con. Uh, the the uh, main con is it doesn't use, whole, another con is it doesn't use the whole data set. It just uses the neighbors. All right, that's it. Thank you.